Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. My name is Technomagus, and today we are streaming Sentinels of the Multiverse. Um, I wasn't actually originally planning on streaming this tonight, but then the new expansion just dropped on Monday. Uh, Infernal Relics, bringing us four new villains, two new heroes, and two new environments. So the new villains that we have are Akashbuta, um, who is basically a gigantic earth elemental uh, force of nature. Um, she has a lot to do with the environment deck. She also has a massive, massive HP of 200. Actually, I believe she has the highest HP in the entire franchise, at least at the moment. Um, and she can do some really nasty stuff, but she does have uh, some self-destruct tendencies, um, which we'll see when we actually fight her. Uh, also brings Apostate, who is Fnatic's rival. Um, he is basically a dark angel kind of thing. He summons demons and relics uh, that he uses to fight the heroes with. He's considered one of the easier villains, but I've never actually had a good game go against this guy when I played him on, on the paper version, so I don't know. Um, we have the Ennead. Um, as you notice, there's no character uh, beat on this card. That's because the Ennead is actually a team of villains. Um, they are all rivals to Ra. Uh, basically based on the Egyptian pantheon, and we'll get to them when we fight them. Uh, and then finally, we have... where is he? There he is. Gloomweaver, um, who is basically a, like, ethereal mage kind of dude. Um, he has the ability to... Or he summons zombies and cultists, and he's trying to collect his three relics, which will allow him to unleash his full power as a demon god. Um, and his rival is Nightmist, one of the two new heroes introduced in the expansion. Um, this video, however, we're going to be starting off with Apostates. Um, so, uh, again, like I said, uh, with new villains comes new heroes. First we have the Argent Adept, Virtuoso of the Void. This guy is personally my favorite hero. He is a bard, he is very squishy, he had 24 health, he is one of the lowest health totals. But if you know what you're doing with this guy, he can do all sorts of crazy things with his songs, um, including allowing players to play multiple out-of-turn cards, powers, draw cards, um, deal damage, boost, buff, whatever have you. And we're definitely going to be bringing him along. And of course it wouldn't be a, a fight with Apostate if we didn't bring along Fnatic, his rival. Um, now, one person who always benefits from uh, Argent Adept is Unity, because he gets to allow Unity to play her bots out of turn, so we're going to get to see some of that action. Um, our second new hero is Nightmist. Uh, she is a, a mage-type character, a paranormal investigator, um, who was cursed to turn into a mist form every so often. Uh, she, has, she casts a lot of spells, she has a lot of self-damage. She's another very difficult hero to use properly, because you're generally going to be hurting yourself quite a bit while using her. But um, she can also deal a lot of, or she has a lot of area of effect damage and a lot of heavy hitting spells, so uh, she can be really powerful if played correctly. We're not going to be bringing her along on this fight, um, but we are bringing Legacy, because it's Legacy, why not? And as for our last hero, let's go on and bring Ra, because fire is... Or actually, no, we don't want to bring Ra. Um, I would like to bring Ra, but I would rather bring G.I. Bunker. Uh, one, I haven't really used him that much. Um, two, he has the ability to eliminate damage reduction on targets. Uh, this is important because a number of Apostate's cards have built-in damage reduction, so we want to be able to nullify that. Um, it will come in very much handy later on. And then, as for the two new environments, we have the Realm of Discord. Uh, basically, Cthulian horror story place, as you can tell by the eyeballs where they don't belong, and freaky tentacle thorn things. And then we also have the Tomb of Anubis. Um, featuring Anubis himself, who is one of the few non-character cards to have a rival uh, attached, or to have a rival icon. Um, he is rival to Ra. We'll be bringing the Tomb of Anubis along when we go after the Ennead. So first, let's go with the Realm of Discord. Um, and it is appropriately freaky, so yeah. Alright, let's go, without further ado, let's get started. Yeah. 
yeah, Apostate has a, a, a connection with Fnatic, so to speak. Alright, so he gets to start off with Condemnation, which is his sword, and it allows him to hit the hero with the highest HP for free damage right off the bat. Oh, and he also gets a Gauntlet of Perdition, which says whenever he hits somebody with melee, he hit the Gauntlet hits them again. So, Gauntlet. And then the sword hits for Infernal and punches. Wait, it hits twice? Oh, uh, yeah, I get... Oh, no, Apostate hits twice. That's what it is. Uh, he hits twice with his normal attack. Or end of turn attack, rather. All right, so... Um, end of Days is actually really bad against Apostate because it, it does not hit relics, and both his sword and his gauntlet are relics. Isn't that awesome? So, uh, what we will instead do is... Uh, let's go ahead and just throw out Fnatic's Aegis of Resurrection. That way, should she fall, she'll come back to life. And, well, we can't hit Condemnation because Condemnation has personal damage reduction. So let's just go ahead and start punching the gauntlet. Now, we could hit Apostate. Um, because the thing of it is, uh, if we knock Apostate's health down, uh, that's his transformation condition, is when he his health hits zero, or if he's destroyed, he will flip over to his alternate side and blow up one of his own relics. Unfortunately, that's 66 damage required. Um, we're not going to be doing that for a bit of time. We're going to go ahead and start focusing on his relics to try and... basically just try and uh, null some of the pain being caused. Alright, so, what do we have here? Um, I think... What I want to start off with is... We'll just bolster. And let's get everybody drawing some cards. And we'll also boost damage. Alright, so Arjun Adept um, actually starts off with quite a number of useful cards. Good! So, um, Arjun Adept is, like I mentioned, Arjun Adept is a bard. He has uh, multiple types of cards. He has ongoings, which represent his songs. Um, the ongoings fall into three types, harmony, rhythm, and melody. I don't have a melody in hand right now. Um, the melodies only have what are called perform, where uh, whenever he is instructed to activate a perform text, he he uses that ability. Um, then he, the harmonies and rhythms have accompanies, which allow him, uh, which have minor effects, but uh, can also basically allow him to get the equivalent of double power activations. Um, and he, he has his his base power activates a perform text of one of his songs. He has instruments in the uh, in his deck that allow him to activate a company text, and also certain play card or certain cards that he plays let him activate a company text as well. So we'll go ahead and start off with the inspiring supertonic. Um, what this does is we can go perform, and they they added little uh, sound effects whenever Arjun Adept uses his powers. So we'll perform the. Pr Inspiring Supertonic. One player may use a power now. So, any one of these guys can use a power. Arjun Adept can't use a power because he already used his one. So, hey, guess what? Legacy. <laughs> Let's boost all damage by two. Because sure, why not? Alright, so now we have Bunker. Um, I think Bunker should start off with... Hmm... Bunker should start off with his ammo drop, and then we'll go ahead and Panzer Buster Condemnation so that it can take damage normally. It no longer has its one damage reduction. And then Unity doesn't really have a whole lot she can do at the moment, so instead what we're going to do is we're going to Hasty Augmentation and Fnatic! Hey, use your power! So, now, it deals 5 damage, because it gets plus 2 from Legacy's Galvanizes. Um, or it, it normally deals... Actually, no, we don't want... Oh. 
yeah, we want Fanatic's base attack, so it's normally one and one, but because of Legacy's two Galvanizes and Hasty Augmentation, it gets plus four on each hit. So we're hitting that thing for 11 damage. So, nearly breaking his sword on the first turn is not too terrible. And then, yeah, I have to blow up her Aegis of Resurrection, but we get the V-Bot out. Um, so actually it was kind of a good thing, kind of not. Alright, now the Realm, and, uh, second highest HP X, what is this? Start of the environment turn, this card deals the non-environment target with the second highest HP X psychic damage, where X is the number of cards in the environment. Okay, nothing, nothing right now. Though that thing could potentially get a little dangerous. Well, now we have, uh... Relic Spirit, which we have to kill before we can... Or which we're going to need to kill before we can actually uh, destroy his relic, because otherwise it'll just bring them right back. Because when this thing dies, all of his dead relics... He gets four dead relics back, so we need to kill this thing. Alright, um... So let's see, what's the best way to get rid of this? Well, I could end of days it. I don't really want to, though. Uh, I don't want to use final dot. Actually, no, we can final dive it. So we'll blow up the gauntlet. Because the the gauntlet coming back isn't that big of a deal. Uh, it's condemnation coming back that we want to prevent. Alright, so this will kill the Relic Spirit, which will bring the Gauntlet back, unfortunately. Alright, so it removes Legacy's two effects, which is unfortunate. But now we will go ahead and we will boost damage again. Ooh, lead from the front. That is actually going to be very useful in this. All right, so now we get to have some fun with Arjun Adept because now we have an Arcane Cadence. So what this does, look at the top five cards. One card goes to hand, one card goes to the top, one card goes to the bottom, and one card goes to the trash, and one to in play. And... Oh! That's a card! Um, alright, well, we'll put the Arcane Cadence to hand. We'll put a Vernal, Vern, Vernal Sonata on top. Vernal, actually, Sadistic Dissonance on the bottom. This thing is actually pretty good, because it, its perform lets us blow up a, uh, an instrument to flat-out kill any one card in play, that's other than a character card. Um, and then its accompany text is to draw a bunch of cards. Uh, we're not going to really get a chance to take advantage of the of that effect. Probably not this game, but eventually we will. So keep that around for a while. Put that extra Vernal Sonata to the trash, and then play the Subdominant. Whoa. And we'll go ahead and use it again. And this allows one player to play a card now. Let's see, does Unity have anything worthwhile? Um... Potentially. Hmm. Yes, actually, she does. Okay. So we'll go ahead and let Unity play a card. So, Unity, we'll play Brainstorm. Drawing some cards. And now we get to deal damage. So let's go ahead and blow up Condemnation. We'll tag the Gauntlet. And then... Oh, uh, and with the third one, we will tag her own B-Bot. Which will kill the Gauntlet. Bunker's drawing all the cards in the meanwhile. And then we get to blow up the Portal Fiend. Because sure. Alright, so 
Alright, so, Bunker now has things he can do. Um, let's switch to upgrade mode, and get a plating. So he can't really do anything right now because he's in upgrade mode, but we'll we'll fix that a little later on. Alright, so unfortunately Bebot is down, so let's just... Mm, I'll throw out a supply crate, sure. And she doesn't have any golems to put into play, so no powers, and just draw cards. Oh, fun, another portal fiend. Because sure, why not? Well, the portal fiend doesn't trigger until the start of the turn, so it's not going to do anything. And now we have a problem. The Runes of Malediction, which saves rel or which keeps relics with damage reduction. This is why we brought GI Bunker. And of course, when the runes goes away, it brings back demons, so runes of malediction with portal spirit basically means we're not blowing up relics anytime soon. Alright. Now However, um, let's go ahead and uh, we'll throw out Absolution and start stabbing up Apostate. Now, see, the funny thing is, I actually really didn't need to kill the Relic Spirit because as long as it, the Relic Spirit doesn't actually do anything harmful, it only heals the. All it does is just heal the uh, the relics in play, um, and it only triggers when it actually dies. So, but oh well. All right, so back to Arjun Adept. We get to do fun things now. Um, well, actually, not really. Let's go ahead and Arcane Cadence. See if we can get something good out of this. Um. Hmm. Let's see here. What do we want to play? Oh, yes. Okay. So we're going to play the Polyphoric Flare, which is going to unfortunately hit Arjun Adept for three. But what it does is it lets him use a immediately use a power on playing it. So, um, let's put... Uh, we'll put Vernal Sonata to hand... Uh, Rhapsody of Vigor on top. This lets us heal uh, every up to five targets for one HP each, which good. Um, put Sarbande on the bottom and Jero on in the trash. So Arjun Adept tags himself for three, but now he gets to use a power Whoa. immediately instead of having to wait for his turn. So we will perform Alacritus Subdominant. Um, let himself play a card, and we'll go ahead and play Instrumental Conjuration. This lets him search his deck for an instrument card and put it into play. Um, and then we get to draw a card. So we're going to search the deck because all of his instruments are in his deck. So these are Arjun Adept's four instruments. They all have varying effects. We have a Punku's Drum, which lets him accompany a rhythm and perform a, harmon or perform a melody. Uh, Drake's Pipes, which lets him perform two different melodies. We have Isidar, or Idisar's Horn, which lets him perform a melody and accompany a harmony. We have Musragani's Harp, which performs a harmony and accompanies a harmony. Telemann's Lyra, which performs a harmony and accompany a rhythm. And then Zhu's Bell, which performs a rhythm and accompanies a rhythm or a harmony. So we'll go ahead and put out Zhu's Bell, because this one's the most useful at the moment. Well, if I would have known that, I would have not done that. Oh, well. Um, so we'll go ahead and activate Juice Bell. Oh, I don't have a... I have Harmonies. Alright, we back... Uh, oh, well. I, I'm not backing up. So we'll just... Uh, I'm not going to... Uh, the Harmony, or the a company for Electra Subdominant, lets Arjun Adept immediately use the power, but then it blows up the Subdominant. We don't want to do that. So we'll just heal two. I grabbed the wrong instrument. 
And uh, we do not want to destroy upgrade mode. Alright, so... Let's get out... The Omni Cannon and the heal units. And draw some cards. Alright, so Flash Forge. Um, let's get rid of. Actually, no, we'll get rid of Robot Reclamation. Um, get rid of Volatile Parts. And... Hmm. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get rid of the Workbench. Alright, so I get three Golems. So, the three Golems that we're grabbing, we're grabbing the Champion Bot. Well, three golems or three equipment. Uh, we're getting champion bot. We're getting swift bot. I don't really need to grab Unity's equipment to put stuff into play because that's what Arjun Adept's for. And let's go ahead and grab a raptor bot. And we're not... I don't think I have any... Well, actually I do. Okay. So yeah, we'll go ahead and bot hack. Let's bot hack away the maintenance unit, because don't actually need it at the moment. Um, and get Swiftbot in the play. Alright, so Portal Fiend hits Fanatic for one. Not a big deal. Negative energy field. Oh, this is kind of a big deal. So, this, every time someone plays a card, hero or villain, the five highest health each take one damage. Alright, so, everybody's taking damage. Yay. Yes, Legacy would like to jump in the way. Because that's what Legacy does. Now, the Imp Pilferer um, basically exponentially destroys equipment and ongoings. So, we need to get rid of that. Fortunately, Fnatic has Stabby Stabby. Alright, we'll get rid of the Omni Cannon. It's not like we started charging it up anyway. Okay, so. Um I think what we do is we go ahead and so we're going to smite the transgressor. Uh, this lets Fnatic play an extra car or use an extra power this turn, um, and she also hits for two melee damage. So we'll just kill the imp for right now. Alright, and then we'll start Stabby Stabby on Apostate. Um, we'll have her deal fire damage. That's appropriately smiteful, I think. Oh, good! Another one! Alright, so, Legacy, um... Hmm... Yeah, we'll go ahead and Heroic Interception. And then Legacy's gonna punch himself, because he likes to do that. And we'll boost damage. Because that's really all that Legacy is good for, is boosting damage. Oh, and now we get to do fun things. Alright, um, first things first. We need to get the proper instrument out. Um, or I could just get... Okay, um... 
Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to inventive preparation. So this is the this is part two of uh, Arjun Adept's three part wombo combo. Uh, inventive preparation, Alacritus subdominant, and I believe it's Telamon's Lyra is the third piece, um, which is what we're going to be getting. So we'll perform. Play one card. Argent Adept will play Silver Shadow. Um, and so now he gets to activate and accompany text of any of his cards. So we will accompany uh, the Inventive Preparation. This allows one character to play a card other than Argent Adept. Um, so normally I would have Unity just dr use this to drop a bot, but Legacy has uh, Inspiring Presence, so we're going to throw that out there. use that to play a card. You can either draw a card or play a card. And we'll go ahead and grab a, another instrument. So we'll search the deck for Telamon's Lyra, which is the card that I was supposed to have gotten last time. So, we are still not destroying upgrade mode, because um, we're just throwing stuff out there. So, let's go ahead and put out the auxiliary power unit. And... Let's see here. And we'll get the grenade launcher out there. So now we get to start. Uh, first off, we get to play two cards a turn. So let's start off with Inspired Repair. <laughs> okay. Play another Inspired Repair, because sure, why not? Just chain through those cards. Kind of hoping that I get a, um, get a pylon right now. Brainstorm's still good. Getting free damage on Apostate is perfectly fine. Augmentation and platform bot. Oh well. So, now for our second card play, I have a whole bunch of pots that I can't actually use. That's a little awkward. Uh, so I guess what we'll do is we'll just throw out this crate. And I'll bot hack the crate into a swift bot. Or not Swift Bot, Stealth Bot, rather. Alright, and the Realm of Discord brings us a well, the Portal Fiend, and then we have Spinning Vortex. Uh, hold on, what does this do? When this card enters play, each player may destroy any number of their ongoing and or equipment cards, then any hero with ongoing and or equipment cards in play deals themselves three sonic damage. 
Well, that's annoying. Well, I mean... Legacy's gonna whack himself for three damage. Oh no. Everybody else is immune, so it's not like it's going to matter. Nobody's gonna do anything. Yes, we're gonna redirect it to Stealth Bot, because ha ha! Heroic Interception! Plus Stealth Bot equals Get Wrecked. And now we have the Orb of Delirium. If a villain t card other than the orb would take damage, the orb takes it anyway. And with the runes out, that means that the it takes forever to kill the orb. So, yeah. Which is why we're just going to have... Uh, we're just going to go... We're on the stab apostate to death plan right now. And thanks to Nemesis bonuses, um, we're going to be dealing quite a bit of damage to him. I like punching. It's actually almost uh, to his flip side, which is good. Uh, unfortunately, that also means that... Alright, so... I mean, what does he... He destroys his... The lowest HP, so he's going to blow up the... Ugh. That's going to bring back the Impilfer. I think we can deal with that. Alright. And we'll just redirect the one damage to Stealth Bot because Stealth Bot has natural DR1. Ha ha! It's sad when the environment has more health than the boss. Alright, so now we have things to do. Um, Alright, so we'll lead off with a... We'll lead off with Vernal Sonata. So... Everybody's going to be taking one damage... Well, Stealth Bot's going to be taking no damage, and then the Portal Fiend's going to be taking one damage. And then what this does is it lets everybody take a card from their trash and put it on top of their deck. Uh, let's go with Final Dive. That's actually going to become very important. Uh, we'll take Heroic Interception back. Uh, Argent Adept will get back one of his Arcane Cadences. Actually, I probably should have taken Silver Shadow. Oh well. Uh, I'll get back the Omni Cannon, because sure, why not? And... What do we want? What do we want? We'll get back hasty augmentation, sure. Alright, time to start singing some songs. We'll sing the song of my people. So, we'll start off with Alacritus Subdominant. Actually, no, we'll start off with... Yeah, Subdominant. So, one player gets to play a card right now. Um, so who do we want to play a card? Uh, Fnatic? No, it doesn't have anything worthwhile playing. Um, Legacy? Doesn't have anything worth playing. Bunker is going to be playing a whole bunch of cards anyway. Unity has... Oh, Unity has bots, so obviously we are going to have Unity start dropping bots. 
So let's go ahead and throw turret bot out there. Uh, the portal fiend has the third highest HP, or fifth highest HP. Alright, now we get to accompany. So we will accompany Subdominance, which lets Unity play another card. So we'll throw another bot out there. And the Orb of Delirium has... Actually, no. Legacy has the highest. Sure, why not? Because it's not like it's going to be dealing damage anyway. Alright, um, do we want to destroy the upgrade mode? Actually, at this point, we kind of do, because we need to get that damage reduction elimination. Uh, no, we do not want to destroy the power source this turn. So... Legacy can be the fifth highest, sure. All right, so and we will Panzerbuster. Actually, why did I Panzerbuster? Ah, uh, we'll Panzerbuster the orb just in case. Alright, so, Turbot, fire on Apostate. <laughs> because free damage is free. And then we get to go... Oh, right. Hasty Augmentation. So... So here, here's where the fun part comes in. Unity is giving the Argent Adept an out-of-turn power play. Because now we get to do fun things. So we'll start off with Telemann's Lyra. Um, so we will perform... Uh, let's see. How do we want to do this? Um, now, there's not a whole lot that I can do at the moment. But what we can do is we can perform Inspiring Supertonic to get an extra power activation. So Fnatic can go stabby stabby. Um... Oh, just barely not enough. Alright, so the Impulfer is back, and so is the Relic Spirit. That's annoying. And Apostate flips back over and heals himself to 20. Alright, so now we get to activate an Accompany text. Alright, so who has... Um, let's see, does Unity want to play a card? Well, see, the thing of it is, because we're still in Unity's play cards phase, um, she can't actually drop her bots. She can, however, play Brainstorm. So I think that's what we'll do. So Unity, Brainstorm. And Stealth Bot, making negative energy field completely useless. Oh. Oh. 
that that's silly. All right, so we'll go ahead and tag this impilferer for a whole bunch of damage. And that way we don't have to worry about it. Um, tag apostate for a whole bunch of damage. Tag the orb for a whole bunch of damage. Alright, so now um, we can use hasty augmentation again, um, because Arjun Adept still has some powers left he can use. Uh, the other option is... let's see... I should have had Fnatic use Absolution to stab. That would have flipped... Um, no, that's fine. Alright, so, yeah, our only real option is to Hasty Augmentation again. Alright, so, now the question is, who do we want to augment? Do we want to augment... Let's see, Arjunatif still has his base power and Zhu's bell to activate. Bell's not really going to do that much. But he could arcane cadence into something useful. Um... No, I think I think we just have fanatic stab. Yeah, stabbing apostate seems like the best idea. Put him down to six health. And then let's see here. I can bot hack. Because we have, we have plenty of targets for bot hacks, so we can go ahead and get rid of the maintenance unit once again. And throw out a raptor bot. And the raptor bot is going to eat the orb of delirium. Get that thing out of here. So this way, Apostate does not have any resurrection effects, because basically if he would be destroyed, uh, if he has a relic out and he would be reduced to zero HP, he ignores the damage and blows up his biggest relic. Uh, nah, Arjunadev's a big boy, he can take it. Imbued Frailty. All damage is plus one. And we also get rid of the negative... Oh, no, we don't get rid of the negative energy field. Oh, that's bothersome. Oh, well. No, Stealth Bot's not taking any damage. Well, Stealth Bot's going to take the damage from Legacy. Because Legacy's getting kind of low. So what is Apostate going to do? Fallen Angel. Each hero target takes a bunch of damage. What is this? Each hero target takes four damage. Each villain relic regains four health. That's annoying. Alright, so... Raptor Bot. Redirect to Stealth Bot. Yes. No. Oh. Alright, so doesn't matter for anything else. No, no damage redirection. Oh, maybe I should have done damage redirection. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, no. That's fine. He can take the hit.
Um, we will redirect... We will redirect the damage from the bots, however. Even though it's putting Legacy at a precariously low life total. Oh, how much is he dealing? He hits the target with the lowest HP for three, and then regains seven health. So that'll put him back up to 13. Yeah, we want to keep... Rap uh, actually, no, we don't need to keep Raptor Bot in play. Because I'm pretty sure he's going down this turn. Alright, so... We'll lead off with Holy Nova. Oh, yeah, he, he's, he's totally going down this turn. I forgot. We're getting a plus three to all damage. Well, plus four against Apostate. So... And Fnatic! Stabby Stabby! And Apostate goes down. Alright, so that was Apostate, first of the four new villains of Infernal Relics. Um, I'm going to take a quick break, and when I come back in a few minutes, we will head off against Gloomweaver the next. Alright, stay tuned guys, I'll be back.